Two house finches, Pip and Pippa, perched on the edge of a decision. Their tiny hearts fluttered, each harboring a distinct desire. Pip, with wings itching for the sky, yearned for freedom. Pippa, on the other hand, cherished comfort. She reveled in the warmth of their snug nest. In one year's time, we shall meet again at this very window. And so, Pip took flight. His wings sliced through the crisp air, carrying him over valleys, rivers, and forests. He tasted the thrill of freedom, the exhilaration of chasing sunsets and dancing with clouds. Meanwhile, Pippa flourished. She upgraded from seeds to gourmet birdseed, feasting on plump sunflower kernels and dried fruits. Her cage expanded, complete with a heated perch for chilly nights. A new companion, a chatty canary named Coco, shared stories of distant lands. Pippa listened, her feathers fluffed in contentment. But freedom came at a price. Nights were cold, and hunger gnawed at his belly. He dodged hawks and owls, narrowly escaping their talons. Yet, he pressed on, fueled by the memory of Pippa's soft gaze. As the seasons cycled, Pip's feathers lost their luster. His once bold eyes dulled with fatigue. He missed Pippa's warmth, her gentle preening, and the shared songs under moonlit skies. And so, with a heart heavy as a rain-soaked feather, he returned. The window framed Pippa's silhouette. Pip's heart fluttered, anticipation and doubt wove a delicate dance. But joy turned to horror as a sleek tabby cat lunged. Pip's wings faltered, and he plummeted. In those final moments, he wondered, was freedom worth the cost? Did Pippa remember him, or had she found solace in her gilded cage? Pippa watched, bewildered, as the cat toyed with the scruffy, unrecognizable bird. Fear gripped her. The best place now felt like a prison. 